This is the start of a new video series on Scum, covering different aspects of the game, base building, raiding mech areas, raiding bases, uh, finding cars, fishing, crafting, cooking, uh, engineering skills, all that, all that stuff. So this first video we're going to show you our favorite mech area to loot. As you can see in the top left hand corner, it's in B0. So the best way to enter this mech area is on the back side of these metal hangers here. You're going to see there's one mech that patrols back and forth in front of the door. So we just wait until he's walking back the other way. There will usually be one or two puppets on the inside. I don't suggest using a knife to take care of them. Pretty terrible. Alright, he's gonna have to step in here. Yeah, sorry I didn't step in sooner. It's okay. So after taking care of these puppets, we're gonna go to the back side of the hangar open the hatch and go down the ladder. You don't want to be Riley and try to climb down too fast. Uh oh, my shit's tripping. This shit will start Please stop it. No. Oh god, it's tripping. You're bleeding. Yeah, my shit's tripping. Bitch, fucking stupid. Run, she fucking started flying. So then you're gonna open the door and you're gonna have to deal with a lot of puppets in this bunker. So make sure you're ready. Have melee weapons, guns, bow and arrow, whatever you need. Medical supplies, repair kits. They're, they're tough ones, they're military. So we're just gonna go around the bunker looting. Uh, I'm gonna see us hit these weapon lockers unlock those those are going to spawn some of the best loot down here of course uh, but making sure that you're real thorough is the best way to go about looting any area you want to make sure you have enough lock picks and screwdrivers to unlock all these weapon lockers because that's where all the best loot's going to spawn There's one room in particular that we're looking for though. We're gonna find a claymore in here, which is real nice. Rare find. So this is the center room of the bunker here. If you ever get lost in the bunker, just come back here and keep trying all the different ways. You'll, you'll find your way after coming down here a couple times, but first time might be a bit confusing.
Yep. Oh, okay. Okay, not, not much. Okay. Your gun move is shut. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> so, as you saw there, I was hit in the back while I was shooting. Almost shot Riley. The gun was flailing all over the place. So, I get a little bit lost coming up here, trying to find that specific room that I'm talking about. End up going back to where we started. And then I realized I just gotta go to that center square room and run across. It's on that second floor here. Be sure to thoroughly check the restrooms in this area uh, because we found an AK in one of them before. Coming up on that room we're looking for now. You'll know it's it because it has four weapon lockers and a bunch of crates. This time we got an MP5 and two bulletproof vests. Pretty nice. We've also found a uh, armored helmet, uh, military helmets, VSS. Um, Plenty of ammunition, magazines, tactical clothing. Yeah, pretty much spawns all kinds of high tier loot just inside this room. Oftentimes it spawns inside the locked weapon caches here, but this time nothing was inside of the locked ones and everything was outside, so. You're gonna see me unlock everything and not pull anything out. I brought the dead crow. The dead crow's mine. If you're asking about the dead crow, <laughs> stop asking about the dead crow. Stop asking. So you're gonna see us finish looting this place. Uh, don't find too much more, I'm pretty sure deal with a couple more zombies we do find one of the newly added medical boxes that spawns the phoenix tears sometimes spawns it yes yeah, sometimes spawns it but it spawns it it's the only thing that spawns it so we try to unlock it here to no avail you'll see me do this like I don't know 30, 40, 50 times, and, uh, <laughs> yep, failure, failure. We're starting to head out of the bunker at this point, taking care of a few puppets that most likely respawned. So we think this is the best area to loot because there was only one mech to deal with. Just a bunch of puppets. Really good loot in that one room. And you can have a chance to find some really good loot along the way in those locked weapon caches. Thanks for checking out our first video. This is Roleplays. It's Miles. And Riley. Peace out.